My name is Jillian Hayes. I'm Stephen Dow. My name is Jay Summit. I'm Mary Beth Gandy. Oh, my name is Ben Axelrod. Most of my research has been around ideas of how do we capture media um, in sort of informal and unstructured environments. One example is your baby's first steps. You never know when that's going to actually happen and right after it happens you were too late to grab your video camera and actually go and get it. Um, a lot of that work has been focused around caregivers of kids with autism, so looking at ways that we can capture behavioral information and educational information about these kids when it happens at really unexpected times. You put on a display, a head-mounted display, and you're uh, basically able to see these characters inside this physical apartment. And we built this set in order to emulate this, uh, this, this uh, virtual space of this game facade. Um, which is, involves you interacting with these two characters, Trip and Grace. They're a married couple and they have, um, they're having marital disagreements. You can actually walk around the space, use your voice to talk to the two characters, and you wear a head-mounted display where you can see the characters overlaid into the space. So everything's real, except for these two virtual characters. Mostly I do robotics. This is um, a scribbler robot uh, from Parallax and we're using this to teach computer science 101 basically. We've found that you know teaching computer science with a robot or with uh, images and graphics is much more intriguing to students than you know just doing print apps and you know putting text on a screen. I do augmented reality research and that's you know um, augmenting the real world with virtual objects or virtual sounds. Classic AR application will involve me like putting on a head mounted display and through the head mounted display I see the real world but I'm also going to see virtual objects. The front projectors have a big problem with shadows. Um, if you get between the projector and the display you get shadows cast on the display. So in, in this system there's two projectors and, and one projector is primarily responsible for putting the image on the screen unless you stand in front of it at which point we have to turn off the parts of the projector that would hit you with light and we turn on the other projector to fill in the regions on the screen that would be in a shadow. Almost none of it is done that way. These days I write almost no code. I spend a lot of time with teachers, with parents of kids with autism. So you, know, you get this chance to see all these different aspects of the world um, through sort of a technology lens. And I find that really appealing because it gives me this diverse sort of way of approaching the world. Um, and computing gives you a lot of tools for problem solving to help those different issues. I never experienced that myself. So the means to get there um, are just ch little challenges along the way and some of them are programming and some of them are hacking on hardware, um, building something crazy like this and, and I interact a lot with people. Well, it's pretty much group, a group effort, uh, particularly the type of work I do usually takes lots of time and lots of sweat and tears to get it working because the work I do is very out on the forefront of technology, so we have to build a lot of our own equipment. So uh, one person wouldn't get very far by themselves. I was a biology major in college at first, um, and I actually really wanted to be an AIDS researcher, but I got really bored because it was a lot of like pipetting and making sure my cultures didn't die and all this sort of ridiculousness. I didn't take my first computer science class really until I was a junior in college, um, but I loved it. Computing is something that you can take and you can apply it to anything else. Um, you can, if you're interested in biology, you can apply it to biology. If you're interested in literature, you can apply it to that. I mean, there's something for everything. So robotics combines many fields, mechanical, electrical, computer science. So typically you're not only working with other computer scientists, you have cross-discipline you know, collaboration. Well, see, I wasn't another major. I did my undergrad in computer engineering, and then I realized that that was not as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> in reality, I was more interested in kind of the flashing and beeping fun side of computing, so I got my master's degree in computer science. And that's when I started working in kind of these, like, cutting-edge, new media type uh, research projects. I'm Jillian Hayes and I'm the new face of computing. 
I'm Stephen Dow, the new face of computing. My name is Jay Summit, and I'm the new face of computing. I'm Ben Axelrod, and I am the new face of computing. I'm Mary Beth Gandy, and I'm the new face of computing. <laughs>